Hey, what's up guys? It's Shuggy J, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to replace the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron N5040. Uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is get a new hard drive. This is a 160 gig H, uh, not HD. Uh, this is a solid state drive, 160 gigs. Uh, obviously, if you have an old mechanical hard drive, you're going to know that they are very slow and you don't want them so the first thing to start off on the replacement is to flip your laptop over and remove the battery and this can be very easily done in fact it's one of the easiest parts you slide this tab to the right and then you hold this tab to the left and you push your battery out you will set your battery to the side at this point, there are going to be quite a bit of work after this, so you flip your laptop over once again, and you open it up. For this step, you will need a flathead screwdriver. You may, not, you may or may not be able to see this, but located above the escape, in between F5 and F6, above F11, and above delete, there are little tabs that will allow you to lift off your keyboard. This is required in order to change out the hard drive. You will start by pushing in the tab and prying up at the same time. It can be pretty difficult if you don't know what you're doing. The first time I did this it was very difficult for me. It still is. last one is always trickiest. Now you can see the keyboard is popped out. You simply slide it off of its hinges, flip it upside down onto the palm rest, and I will attempt to zoom in so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now right here you will notice that there is a ribbon cable obviously for the keyboard. All you will do is you will take your flathead screwdriver, very small, and you will place it on the ribbon cable and you will flip the connector up, which will then allow you to release the ribbon cable. Once you've done this, you take your keyboard, sorry it's so zoomed in, you'll take your keyboard and you'll set it to the side along with your battery. After this step, it would probably be a good idea to remove any RAM you may have installed and set that right on top of the keyboard off to the side. This can easily be done by snapping out the tabs uh, and I will show you quickly how this is done. There are two tabs, one right here and one right here. You simply push them outwards and the RAM will pop up at an angle and from there you simply pull it out and that's it. Once you have managed to get all of your RAM out, you will then need to flip it over. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a very small one, and you will need to remove all of the screws along the back of the laptop. This is going to take a while, I may as well just time lapse this, so I will give screw locations as well. Okay, and once you have all the screws out, you need to very, very carefully unless you have a magnetic tip in which case you would have already removed all of the screws but most cases you will not have a magnetic tip on your screwdriver and at this point you need to very very carefully tilt the laptop back upside down and allow for all of the screws to simply fall out now you will take the laptop and you will gently shake it allowing any loose screws to come out 
you don't want to shake it too hard in risk of breaking your hard drive, in which case, if your data is not already backed up, all of your data will be lost. At this point, you will check to make sure that all of the screws have come out of their spots. You may have a case where there's one that did not come out. I have one right in the middle. At this point, I'm just going to shake it out. Once I verify that the screw is out, I may begin on the inside. Hey, sorry the video got cut out a little bit, but what I was about to say was that when you flip the laptop over, you have to open it after you have all the bottom screws out, and after you've opened it when the bottom screws are out, you have to take the screws out of the where the palm rest is. The easiest way I can explain this is if you know where your wireless card is, or in other words, to the left of your DVD drive, so upper left of the DVD drive there will be one screw, and in where your RAM is in the center, if you go to the top left of the RAM B slot, I believe, uh, then there will be another screw there. Uh, once you have that out, you can literally just grab anywhere on the palm rest and pull up. I recommend doing it near the bottom, not at the top where the hinge is. So anywhere on the bottom or side, just pull up. And don't be afraid to really tug it as long as you know you have all the screws out. And after that, you can definitely be sure it will come out. And then you just simply slide the drive to the right. Put your other drive in the place, slide it into the left and then you are able to put it back on which will be the next clip and to get the palm rest on you just simply grab it again making sure your hard drive is definitely secure in place you don't want to have that loose otherwise you'll have to open again and then you simply slide it in slide it in underneath the screen first and then press it down along the edges until it's all the way in place Once you've successfully done that, you take your palm rest things again and you slide them into place and you put a little bit of force on them to make sure they stay down and then you press down on the black things that will hold them down securely and you do the same for the other side as well. Once it's in there pretty good, just press it down on the black thing. Once you press down on the black thing, there's absolutely no risk that it could come up unless you pull on it somehow. So, once you've done that, all you gotta do is put your two screws back in that were on the top of the palm rest using your Phillips head screwdriver once again. Just lightly screw them in. If you do it too tight, you're at a great risk of stripping it, and you don't want to strip it because rather than stripping the screw, you will most likely strip the thing that the screw goes into, and in that case, you'll be screwed. See what I did there? <laughs> okay, now you can close the top again for now. You flip it back over and very important, as I said before, we will do the two short stubby wide screws first, which look like this. I'll show you comparison between a normal screw and this. You can see the size difference and even a difference in thickness. It does matter a lot. I made this mistake on my other laptop and it was not good. So remember, these two holes are where the fat screws go. So just screw them in just barely tight enough to hold it in you don't want to strip it continue to do the same throughout and I will now time lapse this Once you've put all the screws in, you can flip it back over once more. 
open it up, replace the two sticks of RAM or one depending on what model you got or if you've installed them yourself and how to do that you just put it in at an angle at the angle it wants to be and then you push it down make sure it snaps under the clips do the same one for the top put it in at the angle as it wants to go in and then force it down under the clips you should already have your palm rest things in after that you just get your keyboard you make sure that the ribbon cable up is facing up obviously that's kind of a no-brainer and this is kind of hard to show on camera but I will do my best you need to get the ribbon cable in you need to get it in as far as it will go without actually breaking it and then once you're sure it is in as far as it can go and both sides are even you just push down the gray connector and it holds securely in place and you will see a white line on the ribbon connector that should be even with the gray thing that holds it in after this you can just put it, the keyboard back in its slots and press above the tabs to lock it in and you are almost finished Flip it over for the final time, pop your battery in, lock your battery in place, and that is a complete installation of a Dell Inspiron N5040 hard drive. I hope you found this helpful, I know it was very long, but I didn't want to miss any steps along the way. I noticed there were a few other tutorials on YouTube and across the internet, but none of them went into as much detail as this. I know a lot of it was me talking and unscrewing stuff, hopefully the time lapse is good enough for you guys. But the one thing I want to make sure is that everybody understood what I was trying to say, and if you didn't understand any part of my video, just comment and I will clarify it for you, either with a video response or a personal message letting you know how to do it. I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys post on my videos. So that is the complete installation. I hope this was helpful. And until next time, I'm Shooky J, and I'm out.